Hi guys, this is Tim and Simeon. Today we want to give you this long awaited video from some of you guys about the new tractor. And it's actually my brother Tim who bought this tractor. And today we want to go through uh, why we bought it, what use we have of that on the homestead, and compare it a little bit to what we have already. It's a 1978, uh, the model is 5206. I'm not an expert on uh, tractors in general, neither on Deutz tractors, but what I've read online before I bought it is that it is a pretty good machine. It doesn't use a lot of fuel and is also reliable. It's got 51 horsepower. It's air cooled so it doesn't have any coolant in it that could freeze. So we had already our little compact coyote tractor, the CK22. Um, and uh, in the past years during hay harvest we have been using um, my dad's pickup truck to help haul the hay. But now we have this tractor. Do you want to just share the reasons real quick why you got this and uh, what you think we'll be using it for? So I got this for two reasons mainly. And the one is that when we make hay, having only one tractor makes it a lot more difficult. Um, having two tractors is gonna make it a lot easier because there's different things you have to do, different attachments you have to put on your tractor. And if you can split those between the two, it's just uh, easier and you also more effective because you don't have to wait to get done with one until you start the next. The other reason I bought it is uh, to have a tractor that is a little bigger and stronger and sturdier which this one is. It's not huge it's still fairly small but it's uh, a big difference to our compact coyote tractor. So you, we also have a wood chipper it's actually also your wood chipper and um the little coyote tractor really had to work hard um, to get these uh, four inch pieces of wood uh, chipped up well. So do you think we'll run the wood chipper on this tractor in the future? I hope we'll be able to run the wood chipper on this. But there's a lot of things, or not a lot of things, there's a few things we have to do to get it fit for fight. So what do you think about four wheel drive compared to, you, you got a two wheel drive tractor now. Yeah, I got it because in my budget I wanted to get a used tractor and um, since I wanted to buy, buy it used I was thinking about having as little parts that could possibly break as possible and not having four wheel drive eliminated a lot of extra uh, mechanical things on the tractor. Plus it made the price cheaper of course and really I was looking at different brands not just Deutz. I found this one I thought it was a good deal. It didn't have four-wheel drive uh, but I thought it was a good deal so I went ahead and got it. What I've read is that these engines that are used on this tractor um, or on this series the 06 series are supposed to be one of the most popular Deutz engines that they ever built. They're air-cooled. This is a three-cylinder, 51 horsepower engine. Very simple. Because they are air-cooled, there's less things that can mess up on it. But also, the temperature, the running temperature, is not limited um, by the coolant. So they actually run at a higher temperature, which makes them more fuel efficient. So if the tractor's air cooled, how do you get heat inside the tractor during winter time? Um, well, here in Sweden they have been big on caps since early on in the in history, if you want to say that. So they put a cap on this and they have a separate heater. It's like a diesel heater. It's not operational right now. I have no idea what needs what's involved in fixing it either. Um, this is what it looks like. It's 
There's a broken fuel line and the heater hoses here that blow the air inside. The cap are not connected and probably a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that if I want it running. But I might also just take the doors off and that will eliminate any problem with condensation in there. Okay, so living here in Sweden, many people are probably wondering why we didn't buy a Volvo tractor. Ideally, I would love, have loved to have a red tractor, maybe a McCormick or an International or something like that. But I was looking at something where I would get a really good deal. And um, at the same time, I didn't want to buy something that's not that good or that is known to have problems or whatever. And um, these tractors, Deutz, they're not very common in Sweden. They're not maybe even very popular among people that are looking to shop for tractors. But I know that they're very popular in Germany where they are from. Maybe even the top favorite amongst all the tractors for many people. And so I knew it, it was a good tractor. And because it's not that popular here, prices on them are actually much lower than, for example, on a Volvo. And um, what, Why do you think they are not so popular here? It's just personal preferences. In the States, people love John Deere. And in Germany, they love Deutz, amongst others. And here, they love Volvo. I think it's just a tradition. A lot of it. So you got this um, for a good deal, do you have to invest in a lot, do you have to do a lot of repairs or...? I got a good price on it um, and it hasn't run a whole lot and it hasn't been beat up. So Yeah, yeah. share, share those facts real quick. How old is it and how many hours has it run? It's in 1978 and it's run 2750 hours or something like that, so it's actually very very low. So it's not been abused, however, it's been neglected, I would say. Uh, by looking at it closely, you can tell it's sat outside for a while. There's stuff that's rusted, there's actually some mossy growing in some places. And the paint has faded away. So it's, it's been neglected in a way. And therefore, it's a few things that I know need to be fixed and also some things that I just want to uh, make sure are okay out of precaution because I don't have any history on it. A broken on it is the exhaust manifold has a hole right where uh, this exhaust pipe uh, runs into it because it sat outside and water must have run into it over years and rusted a hole in it so I have to replace that. What features were you looking for that you really wanted and what are you kind of like I wish I would have had that? Well, when I saw the ad, there wasn't a whole lot of information there and the guy who owned it had bought it together with a farm six years ago and he didn't know a whole lot about it either and he didn't hardly use it uh, the time he owned it. So I had to go there and look at it and like I said before, I'm not an expert on tractors, neither these ones particularly. So it was kind of hard to tell for me all the different things. I went ahead and bought it because it was a good deal. But what it does have, what I like, is uh, this kind of hitch here that drops down and then you can just pick up the trailer with the, and it's, it lifts it up and goes into the locking position again. It also has a two-way hydraulic valve here that, that works both ways, one of them. That is very nice. Um, the brakes still work really good on it, I'm thankful for that. And what I wish it would have had is an independent clutch for the PTO, uh, where you can leave the P let the PTO run even though you step on the clutch to sh shift your gears. And uh, I googled it and it looked like these came with it as a standard issue. But then uh, after I got it, I was able to download a little pamphlet and a, also a uh, instruction manual and found out it wasn't standard and mine unfortunately does not have that. So that was one uh, thing I hoped it would have because the Coyote doesn't have that either. And it's really nice to have that, for example, when we bale the hay. 
And uh, one more thing that would have been nice is power steering. This is not very hard to steer, but it's difficult enough. Mainly if you drive uh, where it's a little bumpy, like in the forest, if you hit a stump or a rock, it can really jerk the wheel around and can actually hurt you if you're not careful. And I'm sure that's something that you could fit later on, but we'll see about that. There's other things I want to do to it first, and uh, we'll, we'll see. So in a couple of weeks we'll probably have hay harvest come up here. Uh, what do you think we'll use the little tractor for and what do you think we'll use this new one for? This one we'll use maybe for turning the hay, I could imagine, and for baling it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Another time we're gonna take some GoPros on this tractor and gonna show it all to you. There will be more of this coming once we do the hay harvest. What we have been using this for already is that we've been hauling 1600 liters of water at a time from the lake up here, which we haven't been able to do with the little tractor or the four-wheeler. So, um, that's really good. But, hope you enjoyed this. Big thanks to my brother who both got this tractor and is willing to show it. So, see you all next time.